morning from Toronto. <laughs> I was literally just in Toronto exactly 11 days ago and we were here. I had actually vlogged a little bit of our weekend, but we were primarily here visiting family. Like we had come to Toronto to see my cousin and meet her new baby, which was so fun. I think I've shown, I've definitely shown her cat Onyx before, <laughs> but I was literally cuddling her angel new baby Bowen and also cuddling her hairless cat Onyx, which is a creature of dreams. She is a perfect cat. So anyway, we were here seeing family. We saw some friends and I had also done a shoot with Catherine Holland and Morgan Lovely and it was, it was lovely. It was very nice. It was a nice weekend, but just, you know, when you're seeing family, there's like not much to vlog. So I had like vlogged a little bit of our shoot day, but nothing else uh, of note was vlogged. So we didn't end up actually filming that. So anyway, now I'm back. I'm here solo. Dan didn't come this time, but I'm in Toronto for two nights. I got in last night. Had a super late night with some girlfriends, I'm gonna be honest. I am like quite worse for wear this morning, um, but it is 9.39 a.m., which Vancouver time is 6.30 a.m., okay. <laughs> and I'm back for two reasons only. It's a nice little quick trip. Today, I have to go to the dentist and I'm going to an event and then I have some meetings tomorrow and then I'm home tomorrow night. So it's a, a nice little quick turnaround. But I figured because I'm flying solo on this occasion and I have a good, nice, long time to get ready tonight, I would vlog and we can get ready and I'll show you some things. So that's the plan fam, welcome to Toronto. So thrilled to wake up to such beautiful sun today. I think it's actually supposed to be so warm. So I might actually walk to the dentist. It's like a half hour walk, but it's super nice. I'm staying at Hotel X, which is our favorite place to stay truly because when we lived in Toronto, this is where we used to play tennis. They have an amazing, amazing like gym and club. Not like ins ins club, like a gym club. <laughs> A tennis club. They have an amazing tennis club and an amazing gym. I plan to go do a very beautiful leg day later today, so I'll bring you along and show the gym. And they have a steam room. I'm just gonna sit and soak in the steam room. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh yeah, 14 degrees today and windy. Excellent. And then snowing Friday. I tell Canadian weather is bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre. 14 degrees, then zero degrees and snowing a day later. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just sit on my computer for a hot sec and I'll rejoin you in a bit for some greens and some coffee. <laughs> Allow me to show you my little travel methods. I have here, ooh, it's hot, ooh, the cup of coffee that we just poured, and then I've got some water. And this is my little, my little travel bag. <laughs> I've shown this before when we were in LA. Yeah, anyway. Here's my shaker. Then I've got the Bloom Greens powder, which I'm gonna put in the water. I packed my little my little pills compartment, which one of them has spilled in the bag. We've got our protein. I put my Impact Whey Chocolate Smooth in there. And then I've got a milk frother. <laughs> so this is kind of how I'm gonna start my little morning here. I'm gonna take a little scoop of my Bloom Greens, put that into the cup. Then I, I take my little frother and put it in there. Now that we're the epitome of health, I'm gonna take this cup of hot coffee and I'm gonna pour it into my shaker. There's quite a bit in there actually. This could this could go poorly, but let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. And I'm gonna put a scoop, actually I usually do like a scoop and a half of protein in here. We'll see how we're feeling. We are feeling the half, yes. Make sure that the lid is closed because it has happened to me too many times where the lid hath not been closed and then I shake it all over me. And I shake the coffee with the protein powder and it's delicious and warm. I've shown my iced protein coffee beverage before but I'm kind of on the little warm train. And if you wish to be a classy woman, you can pour it back into the cup. Will it all fit? Oh my God, it does, look at it. Ah! It's perfect. And there you go, a little, a little protein chocolate smooth Cafe latte to start our morning. Nothing spectacular to report on today's outfit, but I have got ready, put my hair up in a pony, H&M sweater, H&M very, very loose, baggy 90s jeans, which I love, they're so comfortable. I've brushed my teeth and I'm gonna head to the dentist, I'm gonna walk. I'll really quickly brief you on what happened because it's also like 
a little Invisalign update. Basically, I finished my Invisalign treatment. The last time when we were in Toronto, I got measured for my final trays and they sent the final trays. And basically like when you do Invisalign, you just kind of permanently forever wear a retainer if you so wish to make sure that your teeth don't move back. So uh, they sent me my final retainers. Here they are. <laughs> and they didn't fit. I started wearing them and like this one tooth started shifting back and a gap started reappearing. And so I put my like old grubby, I'm so glad I didn't throw it out, but I put my like grubby final, like last set tray on my teeth and I've just been wearing that. It's disgusting. It's so yellow and gross. <laughs> Basically, I've been waiting for this appointment to go and be like, hello, these final trays don't fit. I need to be reassessed here, remeasured. Uh, I don't really know what happened, but that is my consequence of doing Invisalign and then moving across the country. So if I can impart any wisdom to you, it's if you're doing Invisalign, don't move across the country because if anything goes awry, here we are, you gotta fly back to fix it. So I hope that we can sort out the final retainer today, but I'm gonna walk to the dentist, have a lovely little stroll on this fine day. Oh my God, I literally can't handle how beautiful it is today, truly. <laughs> and then uh, we'll see what's up and then I'll see you when we're back. I'm back. <laughs> so I went to the dentist, got the impressions taken for my retainer. So that's all well and good. And then I came back, I had a little bit of a nap and I've also finished Bridgerton season two. I downloaded it yesterday and I watched six episodes. Yes, that is six hours yesterday. Between the plane and the Ubers, I watched six episodes. And then, um, and then I finished the final two this afternoon. So that's good, just had some little me time. In <laughs> in the hotel room. I have lots of things to say about Bridgerton season two, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So I don't know how to approach these kinds of things, but maybe I'll just give a little countdown. So if you don't want spoilers, skip ahead. But I just have one thing to say. I have one thing to say. This entire season, this entire eight hours of my life, like it started out so good. Like the first five episodes, I was literally like, I love this so much. I watched it straight on the plane. I didn't even fall asleep on the plane, which is shocking for me. Normally I pass out instantly. But like, how did they deny us a wedding? How did they just lead up to this whole thing, this entire season, and then just in the last like two minutes of the last episode, just skip the wedding? How dare they deny us that? I don't know. It really irked me. I felt like it was such a buildup for not a satisfying ending, and I just feel like I'm left unsatisfied. <laughs> anyway, so that was my afternoon. I just got my workout gear on. And I did also bring my little workout book because I've been filling in all of my workouts each day that I've been doing. So I'm going to go ahead, head down to the gym, and do a little workout. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I thought I was gonna do a lovely little leg day, but we'll see once we get down there. Hello, howdy. I have showered, I've washed my hair, workout is done. I love it, I love it in this place. The steam room was phenomenal. Obviously I can't bring the camera into the steam room. But now it's time to go upstairs and get ready for the event tonight. All right, let's get this show on the road. I have precisely an hour to get ready. I've really sewered myself. I really basked in that steam room and chilled, you know? Okay, first things first, we gotta shape the face. Okay, skincare. Whoop, the serums are on. I wanted to do a face mask, but I ran out of time. So normally I would do a little a little pour of something here and then put a sheet mask on. I had brought a sheet mask. I have these beautiful ones from 111 Skin, but alas, I don't have time. Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream that I can never open with my serum tans. Literally, never. Oh my God. Did you hear that? I'm telling you. Something, I think I just have a, a broken one. There is something very suspect about how hard it is to open this bin. I'm taking that lotion on my neck as well because I'm probably gonna be taking my makeup down my neck to make sure that everything is nice and even. Um, you know what, I might actually put some white strips in. Yeah, put my lip balm on. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose. Just gonna put like a nice 
thick layer of that on to sit on and settle in. Oh my god, I can't close this. Why are you doing this to me? Only when I'm like, white strips! I realized the last time I filmed doing my makeup with white strips in, it looked... It looks really gross, like it gets really goopy in my mouth. So I'm really sorry that you witnessed that and I'm sorry that you may or may not witness that again right now. I also don't often put white strips on my bottom teeth because they're so sensitive. So the shade difference between my top and bottom teeth is actually pretty hysterical, but I'm not smiling like this. I smile like this and you don't even see my bottom teeth. So I don't care. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep the makeup really simple if I'm honest. I don't even know if I'm gonna do eye makeup. I don't even know if I'm gonna do mascara because I just don't wanna go down there and like have a blinking moment and then just be covered in black and then, then it's irreparable and I won't be able to see myself. So we'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel when I'm done the skin and if we wanna do eyes, then we'll do eyes. I'm using the new Makeup Forever foundation, which I have been loving quite a bit. I'm gonna put this one on. It's a little bit, it's a little bit deep. It's the shade one. 1 and 10. It's like almost a perfect match, but it's just a little bit yellow. Like that's kind of what drives me crazy with foundations that say N for neutral. I'm like, ma'am, this is Y for yellow. This is very, very yellow. It's my only complaint, but otherwise it's been a beautiful foundation thus far. I just want to do like really, really small layers because I don't want to be caked. I want to have quite a natural looking makeup. So I'm just applying this, like I spread it out on my fingers and I'm just gonna apply it in really, really small layers. Taking it down my neck as well because it is so much more <laughs> yellow. I didn't even say what the event is for. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. So here's a little backstory. If you guys saw the vlog, you'll know that recently I was in Whistler with Elf, which was so fun. It was so fun meeting so many people from the team. And then they have the PR firm from Toronto that works with Elf. And I got to meet all of those gals as well. And it was super fun. And they mentioned to me that they were having this event. Now, if you guys know, recently Alicia Keys launched her Keys Soul Care brand. And it is like with elf under the elf umbrella but it's very very fancy indeed really really luxe like beautiful products beautiful packaging i've tried a few i have a few of the products like in my bathtub love the body care it's absolutely gorgeous and they mentioned that they were having this event for keys soul care with alicia keys here in toronto and i was like yes i'm coming absolutely i have to go to the dentist anyway this is perfect so it's funny because i'm staying at hotel x and the event is at Hotel X, so I'm actually thrilled. I packed my highest high heels because I only have to walk down the elevator. I don't have to walk anywhere, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm like, perfect, I'm already in the hotel. Like, is Alicia Keys somewhere in this hotel right now getting ready with me, you know? Her songs have resided in my sappy shit playlist for my entire life. She's just been an artist that so many of us have grown up with and I'm like shocked, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if we're gonna get to meet her, I have no idea. I All I know is that she's like hosting this for her key soul care brand and I'm super excited. So that is what I'm getting ready for right now. I can't believe I didn't even say that before. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to be honest, I've been a little bit nervous cause I was like, <laughs> I was planning my outfit. I'm like, okay, so if I get a photo next to Alicia Keys, like what am I gonna wear? Is she gonna be dressed in all purple for her key soul care? I don't know. Is my outfit gonna clash? Like these are the ridiculous things that I was stressing about while I was packing and getting ready for this. But here we are. I'm putting on my Makeup Forever concealer. Oh my god, no, you guys, I forgot. I forgot I needed to paint my toes. I just went to grab my brushes. They were in the in the room, and I saw my nail polish. My toes are in such a state. I haven't had a pedicure. It feels like it's been years. It must be years since I've had a pedicure. I always just paint my own toenails, and they're pretty, they're pretty foul. Me and my crinkled toes aren't aren't the cutest. Anyway, since I got the PR package in October from Hermes, I have been wearing this one, number 85 Rouge H nail polish, look at this beautiful thing. That has been what is on my toes and I need to paint my toes while I'm doing my makeup so that it can dry before I put my heels on. Class. Oh my God, they're so terrible, wow. Did I, t I don't even have a pinky toenail. Have I ever told you that? There's literally like a nub. I have a nub for a pinky toe. I don't even need to paint it. The last time, oh my God. When Dan and I were in Bali years ago, him and I both got a pedicure and the girl like, I swear to God, she was making fun of me and laughing at my toe. And at the end, she took the nail polish and like put a stripe on my skin on my pinky toe. So it would look like I had a pinky toenail and she was like laughing while she did it. I'm like, well, thank you. Thank you for gifting me a pinky toe. Oh my God, I was horrified. Anyway, that's my pinky toe story. Does anyone relate? Where are my pinky toeless gals? Let's have a chat. 
Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> okay, Huda Beauty contour. I was just thinking about this, that every time I get ready, like when I'm filming, I always seem to be late. And I thought about like the incredible scene at the start where he's like, I still got time. I still got time. I still got time. And alas, you, you do not have time. Uh, that's how I feel every time I'm getting ready. I'm always like, oh, it's fine. I just like go at a leisurely, lovely little pace. And then I'm like, oh, where did the time go? Now I must get ready very speedily. It's a trait I do not enjoy about myself, um, but here we are. Anyway, I'm contouring all around. Nothing new to see here. Pretty much sticking to the same old, same old lineup because I need to stop testing new things when I'm getting ready for things because sometimes it goes awry. <laughs> a little bit down my nose. And then I'm just taking some of the contour and putting it onto my eyes. I'm just gonna put it on my entire mobile eyelid, honestly. It's putting it all over and then I'm just literally gonna like blend it out into the face. My under eyes are so dry. They're like crackling up, what the heck? <laughs> this is where I get a little bit bewildered because I don't change anything. Like I'm not changing my, I've not changed anything in my skincare. Like I've packed all my usual suspects and it's like, why does this happen right now? You know, always. So see how the contour just kind of like blends right into the skin from the eyes. I love that so much. It's been a lovely little go-to lately. Just trying to melt the bronzer and the contour like into the rest of the face as much as possible. Okay, I literally don't know what's happening under my eyes, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of this because it's kind of all rubbed away. Okay, I'm hopping all over the place right now, but I'm gonna take this Makeup by Mario pencil and put it in my eyes because they're super red. Will I have time to do my hair? I don't know. Pray that it doesn't curdle up again. Okay, for blush, I'm using the Pearl Beauty Girl Next Door blush. I've been loving this so much. It's such a pretty, fresh springtime pink. I'm just gonna apply a lot of that, especially if I don't end up doing like anything on my eyes. I really want the skin to be like very, very fresh and glowing looking. I'm gonna put some highlight on the cheekbones. This is my Dior Nude Glow and I'm just like so lightly pressing that here. Put a little bit on the nose. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna take my little travel size Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I think because I'm looking so dry right now, I don't know if I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier as well. I think I'm just gonna use this. Just do one powder. I'm not gonna do any of the, the baking goodness. Even though I want my makeup to last, I don't wanna dry it out too much. So I'm just gonna let it chill with this one layer. Then my Benefit Professional Spray, I have a little mini of this. It's amazing. Okay, let's do the brows. Do our brow styler. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of lip liner. This is the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. I'm just gonna rub that on. I had put a little bit of the blush on my lips just to see how I felt about it. And I'm just really loving this fresh makeup. I don't know, I might switch it up and do, like I had packed a nude lip, this lovely little Dior nude lip. And I was gonna do a little smoky eye because I bought the new Hindash palette and I wanted to play with it. But we'll see. I gotta do the hair. At least I know that like this makeup is done and if I don't have time, then at least this will do, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it. Sorry fam, Vanessa just called me. She's on her way. Sweet V is joining me at the event and I was just starting to curl my hair. I really wanted to show you guys how I did the beachy waves, but I just don't think I have time to do them right now. So I, I'm just like sticking to my normal, very plain waves. Nothing new to see. One curl backwards, one curl the other way. Okay, the hair is curled. I'm gonna take some texturizing spray, spray it in. I just like loosely run my fingers through the waves and then spray the texture spray in and that gives it a little bit of life and volume. I think I'm just gonna have to leave it at that. All right, wait, starts out. <laughs> Perfume on, I've literally got morsels left of my little travel sized by the fireplace. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed, put my jewels on, I'll show you the finished look and then I'll decide if I'm gonna put eye makeup on or not. But also like Alicia Keys is the queen I like the no makeup makeup thing. So maybe this is like the one event where it would be very acceptable for me to go sans mascara, right? So this is the outfit. Like low rise pants. What are we thinking? Am I crazy? 
Okay, the top I bought actually in a sale at Hudson's Bay. It's a Remain top. I had to put some little nipple pasties on. And then the pants are actually from Abercrombie. And my shoes are La Femme. Sorry, Femme, Femme Los Angeles. They're a nice little white strappy pair of shoes. And I was gonna take no bag. I figured I'd just be holding my phone and vlogging the whole time. So this is the situation. Very au naturel, very creamy. What do you guys think? I'm like nervous. I've never done anything like this, like going so plain and also exposing my like scarred belly button. But I kind of don't care. I'm trying to like accept my body for what it is. I don't know. Anyway, what do you guys think of this outfit? Ah! And here's the finished look. Finished makeup look. Sorry, I did actually add a little bit of the Victoria Beckham liner just to define it a little bit more. I just added a little bit, but that's the finished look. Jewels are on. Just waiting for Vanessa, and then we'll head down. Awesome video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm back in the room. I put some slippers on. I need to I need to change out of this. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Okay, so they had the beautiful like big hall. Alicia Keys is ethereal. Wow, what a what a lovely, lovely woman. Um I <laughs> I tried so hard to get a photo with her, but I just couldn't be that person. I was literally beside her and everyone was like tossing elbows and like swarming her to get in a little conversation. And I was just like, yo, Vanessa, like take a picture of me like right here, like very much. You guys remember the photo of me and Caitlyn Jenner from a Lancome trip years ago? It was like that. I was literally just like, <laughs> here she is. They didn't do like a photo op or like a meet and greet or anything or everyone could just line up and get a photo. Like she was just like, there amongst the crowd, but she was so beautiful and was talking about keys and got to see some old pals and it was really nice. It was like a total short and sweet event. Vanessa and I just came up here and we were just chatting and it's literally 8.30 and I think I'm truly like, I'm ready to go to bed. I am so tired. Obviously like last night I had a late night, but that was it. We got some goodies to try. This is a Harmony mask and we got a skin transformation cream. The Be Luminous Exfoliator. I love the packaging, honestly, it's beautiful. And then the Golden Cleanser. Uh, I spoke to a gal. They had like different stations with all the different products. Um, and I talked to the gal about the Harmony mask because I didn't know they had a mask. You guys know I'm mask people. Ooh. Oh, wow. She said it's like a clay mask. It has Manuka honey. It sounded really promising. Kind of when she was explaining it, it reminded me of the May Lindstrom Honey Mud mask. Like I feel like that's going to be the little vibe of this. I'm actually really excited. Uh, to try that so I'll keep you posted but yeah it was really cool it was so cool like seeing Alicia Keys in real life it was awesome and I'm excited to try more like I haven't tried any of their face products I've only used their body care which are beautiful I also wanted to just say that um, it was my first time wearing those femme heels and I've never like we were all standing in a little semicircle around Alicia Keys while she was talking and I like broke out into a full body like panic and sweat and pain like I've never experienced before. Like I actually, like I'm not even exaggerating. I thought I was going to faint from pain from those heels. As soon as Alicia Keys was done talking and we got our little picture, I came upstairs and I put my sneakers on and I'm so thankful that I am staying at this hotel and that I was able to do that because I actually was like seeing black spots. Like my whole body was shaking <laughs> in pain from these heels. It was insane. I'm like, how, <laughs> how does anyone, do anything in heels that high. Like, I should not have made this my maiden voyage of those heels. I should have been training. I need a training program for these heels. But that was an experience. Yeah, I took them off and my whole, like all my toes were like puffed and swollen. Vanessa was like laughing, taking photos of me. I'm like dripping in my sweat. My shirt was like starting to go see-through. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm honestly so embarrassing, but it's okay. We got our photos, we made it happen, made it through the event, and then I quit the heels towards the end. So anyway, guys, that was the lovely little event. I uh, still have a nice full day tomorrow, so I'm literally gonna call Dan and go to bed. <laughs> Good night, toodaloo. Good morning. 
for me and my mask. It is very cold and dry this morning and my skin was just feeling so and I just needed to give it some hydration. And in stark contrast from the weather yesterday, it is in full blizzardy snow mode today. Full snow. It's like day one of winter outside right now. I don't know if you can see the snow from the camera, but this is snow. Ma'am, I did not pack for this weather. I packed for spring. <laughs> Anywho, this morning I'm gonna make my same little coffee and greens lineup. <laughs> I can't talk in this, oh my god. I'm gonna have my coffee and greens and I'm gonna go work out. <laughs> the gym was packed, the gym was packed. I couldn't take any fog shots. But I just did a little upper body workout. And um, yeah. Here we are. Okay, I just turned my curling iron on because I just want to touch up a few of my curls because they didn't last so hot through my workout. And I also just ordered breakfast. It's cold, which is to be expected. I had scheduled the order for 10 o'clock and it came perfectly right on time for me to be done my workout. But I got a little egg and turkey bacon sandwich. Look at that. Delicious. I'm all packed. Ready to go. I have to check out of the hotel, so I'm gonna leave my bag here. But I actually have a full day of activities, so I'm gonna come back before my flight. My flight is at nine, so I'll probably come back to the hotel at like seven and pick up my bag. Gonna head to Yorkville now, uh, meeting Vanessa again. We have a couple of meetings before my flight. So it's gonna be a good day. I just threw on my Arquette shirt. I didn't know how cold it was gonna be because it was snowing this morning. <laughs> So I just put my sweater in my little backpack. I've got my H&M jeans, toe tan boots, the usual, and I've got my coat. My beautiful little Frankie shop coat. So this is, this is the fit. I ordered some donuts to bring to the Caudalie team because if you've never been to the spa in Yorkville, their offices are actually upstairs, which is so cool. What a dreamy place to work. And I'm gonna head out a little bit early here to go say hi to them and bring them a little sweet treat because it's Friday and they deserve it. <laughs> All right, let's go drop the bags and check out. couldn't tell. I am home. I did have a nice full day of meetings and then ran to the hotel to get my suitcase and ran to the airport and got in super late. And that was all she wrote for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed that little whirlwind of a trip in Toronto. I had a blast and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching fam. And I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!